Good morning. I wanted to go over what Saturday is uh, to this Easter time. Uh, yesterday we went over Good Friday, and it was the day that Jesus Christ died for our sins. He gave up his life uh, that through belief that we could have eternal life. Uh, and he did it freely, and we learned that it and he did it because he loved us. And we learned in John 3.16, and even in Romans, that that death was for everybody. So what happened on Saturday? Well, Saturday, we're going to open up your Bibles to Matthew chapter 27, and we're going to begin with verse 57. It says, When the even was come... So the evening was come. There came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out, and the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and another Mary sitting against the sepulcher. So in this, Jesus has already died, and he went to Pilate, and he says, Give me the body, and he put it in his own tomb. And we're going to continue with verse 62. Now the next day, this would be Saturday, now the next day that followed, the day of the preparation, the chief priest and the Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that the deceiver, which they're talking about Jesus here, the deceiver said, While he was yet alive, after three days, I will rise again. Now, I find it very strange that the lost, the people that aimed, well, they, they delivered him to death, remembered what he said. Now, we recall the devil when during the 40 days wandering in the wilderness that they knew scripture. It said it is written, and then, you know, if you cast yourself off, they remembered that he said he would rise again. But we know that the, the disciples did not. This disciple is preparing his body to be laid in a tomb. And these people who call him a deceiver is knowing that he will rise again or said that he would rise again from the grave. Let's continue. Command, therefore, this is verse 64, that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest the disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, You have, you have a watch, go your way, make it as sure as you can, which make sure that you... Make sure that this doesn't happen, that his disciples doesn't come. So they went and made the sepulcher sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Now, the reason why I say that the disciples and people didn't know that he was going to be risen again is found in 28.1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. They had no idea that they were sealing it and that they were setting watch. Mary, we knew um, from verse 61, uh, 2761, that they were there and they saw that he was laid in the tomb. So they waited for the next day to preserve the body. The enemy, in this case, would be the people that are sealing it, the Jews. We'll just consider them the lost. The lost is still to this day trying to seal up Jesus away from the disciples or the followers of Jesus. So to this day, he is being sealed up 
And some followers, sadly enough, are not preparing for his return. His return in this instance would be from the dead. I pray that during this time, as the enemy is sealing up Jesus, that we as believers are waiting patiently or ready for his return. We can learn a lot, not just what happened on Friday, but what is happening on Saturday as well. I hope this uh, reading this morning blessed your heart as it blessed mine. And But Sunday is coming. Are you ready? God bless you.